Wow, he's got a lot of bonuses to his morale. Oh my god, he's getting minus 950 and he's still at normal morale. Hello everyone, my name is Gracian and welcome to episode 27 of this Let's Play of Age of Wonders Planfall. Uh, Gertie Badger, coming to trade, blah blah blah. So we have Idle Colonists and Electric Eel. Um, why? Why is there a single person in here not working? There we go. Uh, we got our, our hero to resurrect. So we lost... It was uh, Candle Wick, wasn't it? Yeah, right down here. So we can pop her back in. Hello? Oh no, my game froze. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was really weird. Target an own colony. Right, 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 right. Can I? <laughs> oh my god, it's frozen again. This is so weird. That's really strange. Oh, she comes in with no action points. Dang, it means I can't do anything with her this turn. All right, you guys just get in the city and stay safe for a second or in the sector. Candle will go ahead and put you back in another disassembly. We actually have a, a variety of interesting, this doesn't have any kinetic. Uh, what else do we have here? Imperial Ace PC, this doesn't make sense. This is a cool mount. The big. Oh, I didn't realize they were that big. That's kind of scary. No, I think I want to put her back in a disassembler. There's so many choices. And then her grenade she had was. Well, actually, we could give her all sorts of stuff here. Seed shrapnel. Bleeding. She already has bleeding. Ego launcher. That's probably it. So she has an option. Uh, she's already ranged, so that having a nice big AoE that's not this one. Or does she need some sort of utility device? We don't have any. Usually we have like those uh, health things or whatever. Uh, oh, those are mods, the mending rigs. What am I thinking? So we confirm movement with this guy up here. I think. Got an army over here. Kind of wandering. So you're gonna head down to this. And then we're checking for Zana. Trying to figure out where Zana's where Zana herself is. Where are her forces? So you guys are gonna hold here. We're holding the city. We're gonna take this city back next turn. There we go, get our sector back. Okay, there's her... Oh, some of her forces. Looks like they split up, maybe? This army doesn't really have anything to do. We could come down here and uh, team up with this army and actually take out some of these marauder spawners. Maybe go down and grab this stuff, too. That'd be pretty good. I think I just hit caps lock. So now we've scared them away, so maybe we follow them. Oh, I forgot that these things can walk in water because they're so big. It's so crazy. This one's floating. So these ones are embarked. Yeah. Chinar block. Xeno Cosmite. Xeno Relations. Can we Do we want to... No, that's... Well, maybe. It's pretty expensive. Let's just build this one the regular way. No, let's buy it out. Let's buy that. We'll build this one the regular way, and then we'll then we might swap to making units again. Lord Fire, I forgot I named it that. So we have uh, uh, science and two hydro. Twenty food, five energy, five food. Yeah, this is a valuable little sector, isn't it? Enemy operation detected. They took off our whatever for some reason. We'll requeue that one up. And we have a lot of. Um, oh, yeah, we create a forward base over here just in case they try to sneak by us again. Incoming communication. Worms like you. Okay. Okay, let's just end turn. Okay, we are 
ready to... Oh, that's all you guys have here? Wow, that's... Sad. Objective completed. We'll take them. Um, repair module. Mending rig mark three, I think that was, and a drizzler. Okay, yeah, we produced a bunch of stuff because we completed a tech from that, which is awesome. No. All right, awesome, awesome. So now we're gonna do the Herald of Oblivion. Let's actually, let's actually switch to. Um, okay, hang on. Switch to that. Let's switch to this first. So we can start winning, and then we'll get the Heralds of Oblivion, which we don't need, but they're pretty interesting. What can we do with you? Oh. Well, oh, this can, this can also get reassembly? That's interesting. Melee and fi uh, firearms attacks. This is carbon random melee. It is. So we could, we could debilitate and hallucinate in an AOE revivifier. That's cool, but not what this guy does. This guy, we're going to give a, probably a biochemical. Yeah, here we go. Uh, what should we call this guy? He's got like venom tips. Well, there we go. Perfect. And, oops, didn't manage to stay together there at all. Whoops. Okay, let's get you up to, I don't know, literally, I'm just going to right-click on my military city, and they're just going to run over there. Where the hell is it? H&R Block, go. Lord Farquaad, unexploited sector. Upgrade commander. 12 after each battle. Sure. Hmm. Watchman is possibly useful. These guys are a little wounded. Um, should be. Yeah, because they regenerate. Cool. Enemy Counter operation, operation failed. Yeah, can you stop trying to snip my operations? I don't have any movement left. I think I'll go up and join up with them. All right, Zana. Where are your forces? Where are you? Where are you, Zana? Up there, maybe? I don't know why. Should we send these ones in, too? Probably don't need to be on defense at this point since we're going on offense. Now, this is their capital, which I do, I do want to hold the capital. So, I don't know I don't know who I should leave behind here. It's going to take a long time to finish grabbing the sector, 6 turns. But we don't know where Zana is. If we could find Zana and go and take her out, it wouldn't matter as much. I think I'm gonna wait there another round and try to retake this city and then I'll have a little bit more uh, yeah it's just it's so weird not being able to see where she is it's a very very strange situation military engineering advanced military engineering I think we're we were researching the no we were and then we had to go to this first okay so opal dome can just make us some science. You have too many water sectors. Raise that one, make this one into our chalice crack. Operations primed and ready. 
production. Spire of Suffering. Third Spire of Suffering is complete. Excellent. Let's end turn. All right. Message from Spacers. They want me to build some crap for them. Um, well, I'm not going to do that here. Because this is where I make units. So what do we want to build? Didn't I make like a cool, ridiculous... Yeah, Dr. Zaid. Reverse engineer. Here we go. Um, cool. Okay, and then blah, blah, blah. It's an unexploited sector. Whatever. Hydro, and then this one will be residential. Um, okay, so so we need we need cities that are available to work on that construction. So it's probably going to have to be Opal Dome who can do it by themselves, actually, which is fantastic. Can almost no, not quite. Yeah, that's not gonna. That's not gonna work. Operations primed and ready. Enemy operation detected. Oh my God, please stop doing that to me. All right, so up here we have no more information on where Zana is. I'm trying to. No, she's not here. Aha! Aha! Here she is. Okay, she's camped out in this city. Sort of relatively undefended. I can't get all the way over there this turn. Um, I say we go for it. Let's just take everyone and go. We're going to go get that. Whoa. That militia really changes things, doesn't it? I, for some reason, was thinking that they'd have to be, like, they wouldn't have the militia back. But I guess they did get the city. So, yeah, I guess I need more forces to retake that city, unfortunately. However, they can't leave it now. They could send somebody away to grab it from me here. Um, yeah. Candle. Kill those guys off. We have more forces coming in this way. Down here, I have an opportunity to, to fight. Um, actually, wait, let's go up here. Uh, that is real dangerous. So let's sample collect them first. The closer group, bam. And then let's let's do it. I mean, that should be audible. I'm happy to do that one manually because it looks kind of fun. Uh, no, didn't even take any losses. Wow. Okay, so we got our first one of the Marauder Camps down. The first one that we've done in the whole game, which is kind of silly. All right. Wow, we're really farming up a lot of stuff here, aren't we? Yeah, he can help with that real quick. Happiness event in Colony. It's a lot of happiness, actually. Um, oh, they're working on it now. Ooh, they have a lot of stuff to work on in Bug Zapper still. Let's give them a factory overdrive. Should speed stuff up a little bit. And turn. All right, we're on to the next turn. Now we've lost. These chalices are causing me a lot of grief down here. They keep taking my aquatic sectors away from me. So I'm going to send down a submarine army that will get there around the time the game ends. So let's work on that now, I guess. Proposal from Hutar. Yeah, sure. What a weird proposal. Same weirdness. Sure. Operation effectiveness, that's awesome. We got another doctrine slot. Operations primed and ready. Say so number of units start with plus one rank. Non mindless units gain sadism, causing them to deal 25% extra damage to units with low morale. Low morale is something we do. We've got debilitating infections, we have broken mind. 
Let's plop that on. Bam. Idol Colin, it's an electric eel. Probably because they keep getting spit out of their work working slots because they keep losing my freaking sectors. Um... Stop trying to take out my operations. Accepted with Kirko. Okay. What do I want to do with these guys now? I could come down here and keep taking out more of these marauder camps. You know, there's like a lot of these. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a Cosmite sector. Right here. And that's a neutral city. It's a Kirko city. Well, maybe we just kind of poke our head in here. Oh, no, it's not. It's an assembly city. What? All right, Sweet. free city. So these guys can't handle this on their own, but they also can't be attacked by this small group here. However, the other thing we could do is possibly just take her out this turn. It's looking like that's very possible. Let's head to there, head to there. And then uh, Father Bill, yeah, Father Bill will be the, uh, the attacker. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this one manually because... Actually, let's drop an op on him here. Let's go ahead and give him a nice little vision of darkness. There, screw you. All right, let's go on in. Let's do that one manually. should be super easy, but I do want to finish off this player with an actual manual combat, so I feel like I did it myself rather than the AI took over for me like I did with the last player. Right, we'll go ahead and turn this on times three because this turn will be boring as hell. Okay. Now this cannon will attack this one, but it won't do much. The cannons are AOE, but they will not target ground. So this one will not target here and hit this color. So that is something I have to kind of think about if I want to be targeted or not. Should probably send somebody over to take out the cannon. Just because the Devar Cannon the AoE stagger uh, could matter on stuff like... Actually, this guy's probably stagger resistant. Yeah, this is massive impact stagger. I kind of doubt it. High impact stagger. Yeah. So the only ones that can even be staggered are like these snipers. So probably don't need to worry about it. Pretty bad chance to hit. That would mean I could get a little closer. So these are equidistant, I think, technically, to this guy. So let's go back one step so that that one gets targeted instead. Yep. That'll do it. I don't want you getting too close because I don't want you getting hit by anything. That's a lot of damage if it hits. Fourteen damage graze, that's pretty good, I'll take it. You're wounded. Probably from some random auto combat. Twenty-five damage. Jeez. Now that one's gonna target over here. So really it's mostly this line we have to worry about. So we can go up to like here. This one can definitely rocket barrage us, but it does so little damage. All their bill. I think we're good there. I don't think Zana's be able to, gonna be able to do much. Oh, yeah, that's a good move. 
It's a powerful ability. So they've got really good accuracy for a couple turns. Those ones are going to do extra damage for a couple turns. So the next turn, those barons are going to hit pretty hard. Although they are... One of them is unmodded. That's about enough. I think Father Bill has that gaze. I think he can heal up a little bit. Operations ready. Let's go ahead and launch that emptiness. Catatonic, failure on failure, they suffer broken mind. All right, so we've got several catatonic units. I think that's this here. Yeah, their actions are gone. That one's catatonic. Broken mind. So it's this one, this one. They've got the arrows over their heads, it looks like. This looks like only a couple of them got catatonic. Catatonic. So there, there's a... Sorry, there's a rocket artillery got catatonic. A bulwark militia got catatonic. Devar Foreman got catatonic. And everybody else just got broken mind. So these are the three we can ignore. Let's eat that guy's brain. Do we have AoE? Not... Uh, not really. Has this got Demolisher? It does. So I'm going to run up to here. Start bashing the walls down, I think. Enemy annihilated. Take a full action, it does. So if we stagger the cannon, it does nothing. Cool. If I'm all the way up here, Mm, I don't hit much with this. These are both catatonic, so that's sort of a waste. Let's take the, the tactical approach here. We'll just kind of move up slowly. Maybe take a shot somewhere around here. These are hard to hit. Um, Enemy. So we'll use this guy to just whoops whoops uh, just shred a piece of armor off of this this cannon I think. Can't quite get there, but I'm willing to run up in defense mode because he's pretty pretty damn tanky with an armor and one shield, 111 health. Holy shit, it's pretty stupid. Destroyed. There's another one down, and that is our turn. Now, those two barons in the back are really the only thing I have any worry with. They're likely to target these squishy guys. Sorry, these tanky guys in the front who aren't going to go down.
we go. Bumble chance. Catatonic ones just running away. Make my own path. Single action, so it doesn't matter if we stagger them. Now, the Malictor. Um, problem with using him here is that he's only going to get one shot because if he because it bounces. So if he kills this first target, he doesn't have anything to shoot at. So maybe we want to move him up like two more notches and fire at this character. Got more attacks out of it that way. Enemy destroyed. Let's take out this uh, artillery from back here. Enemy killed. Can't reach anybody, so we're going to move all the way up here and then see if there's any good blinding attack uh, snapshots here. Uh, here's a 65% on blinding and 97% on bleeding. Let's take that. Nice, we got both of them. So this guy's accuracy has got to be pretty darn bad at this point. It's 80%. That's because he's got, what, plus 15%. Um, minus 40%. And then he's got the fumble chance. Wow, he's got a lot of bonuses to his morale. Good thing we did the, the uh, visions of... Oh my god, he's getting minus 950 and he's still at normal morale. Hot damn, that is crazy. So, oh my god. So what about Zana? Oh my god, holy hell, that's a lot of morale. It's a damn good thing we use that or they'd be critting all over the place here. Unbelievable. Um, oops, do we have a target from back here? Yeah, we did, here we go. That's a crit, yeah, it's gonna be like 45 damage. Enemy terminated. Wow. Uh, so that is it for all of our characters. Let's. What's she up to? Oh, ego launcher. Ow. Wait, those little guys can stagger a wrecker? Weird decision. Uh, you don't have any healing left. So we just gotta win this round, I guess. Enemy terminated.
Could only get a snapshot because he was staggered. Oh, you can't, you can't get. Oh, because it takes movement to move through that. I gotcha, I gotcha. Let's smash through this terrain. Should let this color walk into this spot. There we go. Enemy terminated. So we have multiple snipers here. So let's use this guy to pop her out of there. There she is. Is that a damn graze? Are you kidding me? Our forces are victorious. All right, there we go. Okay, so we didn't lose anything. Um, obviously, that was going to be pretty easy, I think. So... She has been knocked out of the game. Zana has. So now we are neutral with Devar again. And we should have oh, we've completed, completed the Emperor. Army reward. An army of racial units appears at your capital. So we defeat two players. So we got a tier three army reward at our capital, which is... Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, like a fair few units. Oh. It's a... Why would they give me... Okay, this feels like an early game army. Why would they give this to me? Is this even worth using for anything? I mean, this one, we're going to turn it into a scout. And I'm not equipped. There's two of these? Sure, whatever. All right, so just this one, we're going to have, like, go camp out, like, here. Uh, actually, we need to end the episode because I'm all out of time. So we'll do some of this maintenance stuff um, on the next episode. I might do some of it uh, without the recording going. So looks like we've got control of Zana's territory. So we should be in a good shape to start winning. Where's the victory thing? Da -da -da -da. Uh, occupy 58 of 59. Oh, my God. I think, we're, I think we're taking a sector, though, right now, aren't we? Somebody's got to be grabbing a sector. Surely. Surely somebody's grabbing a sector. Uh, or, or we'll just grab this last city anyway, so it won't matter. So, okay. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, please consider liking and subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode.